determine if the vector b is a linear combination of the three vectors v1, v2, and v3, where b is the vector 8, 26, 14, v1 is the vector 1, 3, 2, v2 the vector minus 4, minus 12, minus 9, and v3 the vector 1, 5, minus 1. Now remember that the question is asking whether or not b is a linear combination. So are there constants x, y, and z so that if we scale the vectors v1, which is 1, 3, 2, by x, and scale the vector v2, negative 4, negative 12, negative 9, by y, and scale vector v3, which is 1, 5, minus 1, by z, and then add these three scaled vectors up, would we come up with 8, 26, 14? That's what the question is asking. Now, if we were to scale through and read along by the rows, along the top row we would have x minus 4y plus z equals 8. Along the second row, 3x minus 12y plus 5z equals 26. And along the final row of 2x minus 9y minus z equals 14. And if we can solve this 3 by 3 system of equations, then we'll be able to answer the linear combination question. So let's focus on that right now. We'll solve it using the elimination method. So let's first get our augmented matrix. Along the rows, 1, minus 4, 1, 8. Along the second row, 3, minus 12, 5, 26. And along the third row, 2, minus 9, minus 1, 14. And now let's row reduce this. So let's go and get zeros underneath that first pivot. If we multiply the first row through by negative 3, we'd have negative 3, positive 12, minus 3, and a minus 24. If we scale the first row by negative 2, we can get remove the pivot down there. So we'd have a negative 2, positive 8, and a negative 2, negative 16. So let's add these two rows up using our linear combination row operation. So the first row stays the same, but the new second row becomes 0, 0, 2, and negative, or positive 2, sorry. And the third row becomes 0, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2. So now we're getting a little closer to row echelon form. Note that the bottom row could be scaled by a negative 1 to make everything positive. And if we switch the two rows around to get 1, minus 4, 1, 8, 0, 1, 3, 2, and 0, 0, 2, 2, we're in row echelon form. And notice that that last row could be scaled by 1 half, so let's just do that now. Now that we're in row echelon form, we can foop the system back and solve these equations. The bottom states z is 1, row 2 is y plus 3z equals 2, and the top is x minus 4y plus z is 8. So if we can solve these three equations, we're going to be able to answer the linear algebra, or the linear combination question. We now know that z is 1. Plugging that into the second equation says that y plus 3 is 2, or y is minus 1. Taking these two values and plugging them into the top equation, we're going to have x minus 4 times minus 1 plus 1 is 8. So that's x plus 4 plus 1 equals 8. And so that gives us x is equal to 3. That means that we have a solution. If we take 3 times the vector v1, subtract the vector v2 and add the vector v3, then we will obtain exactly the vector b. And so, in particular, b is in fact a linear combination of the first vectors.